there's this really cool waterfall. And there are plants, and there are vines. And sometimes when you round the corner to go there, there's sunlight going in. It's really beautiful. One of my favorite spots is in a area away from civilization, out of the outer reef. It kind of helps you forget about all the stress when you get out and you're back to reality. It just makes you realize how important those moments are. I think my relationship with the land is definitely a two-way relationship. As much effort I put into it is as much as it will give back to me. Going there is what grounds me. I personally like the world at night. Being able to see the stars, it's like remembering that at the end of the day, everything is still so simple. I started going to Makapu a lot, and I noticed after swells, there'd be tons of plastic that would wash up on the beach. And then the next swell would come, and it'd bring just as much back in. And I heard about the Pacific garbage patch, and I was like, well, like, this is actually a big deal, and people don't realize it. Well, the land is important because there's so little of it nowadays with all the development. It's just really important to try and restore as much of the land as possible so we don't lose it all to buildings. I kind of tell myself that I always have this and always be able to come up here. It's my spot. A lot of stuff happening recently, the anomaly of global warming and everything. It might not be in 10, 20 years, who knows? I know that there's a lot of that the next generations won't get to see. There'll be more that'll be lost, and it takes away their perspective on the Earth. Sometimes the problem feels so big that we can't fix it. What I'm worried about is that soon enough it's gonna become somewhere that we don't want to live in. It's hard to focus on something so far away and so abstract, I think. We like to see it right in front of us. We can clean as much as we want and we can throw away our stuff, but is that really gonna solve the problem? I feel like you have to attack it at an earlier point. This wasn't our fault and it wasn't necessarily the last five generations' fault. It's been a lot of little things, but we have to be responsible now for lifting up centuries of problems. It's scary. We make mistakes every single day, and so it's kind of our nature to do wrong. But we can also do right if we know how. If kids just grow up in the city and they don't realize that nature is important, they have no reason to protect it. It's important to give kids a connection so that they want to protect the environment. For educators, I think breaking down the problem and saying this is what you can do, that would really be helpful in inspiring and feeling like these things are possible to fix. We look up to adults to provide us with courage that we need to stand up for what we believe in and what we think is right for the earth. Knowledge is really what the kids need because if they don't know, then they don't know how to act and they don't know what they need to do. Us taking the first step, it would inspire others to follow in our footsteps because oftentimes people are afraid to do things that are outside of the norm. Most people think they're insignificant but they're not. I believe that we can make a difference, no matter how small. It's a difference. This isn't someone else's problem. This is our problem. And we're the ones that are going to have to solve it.